Hello guys, it's Abhishek and you're watching TechSet. You can also watch my other videos from my playlist to gain more knowledge because in my channel, you will get all you need in tech. So we have learned how to install Autochill 7.6 by command line and graphically. In this video, we are about to discuss basic configuration of Linux because it's not possible to learn Linux without knowing about its basic configuration. So without any further ado, let's start. In my previous videos, I have told you that in Linux we use two types of desktop environments. First is Genome and second is KDE. Genome stands for GNU Network Object Model Environment and KDE stands for KDesktop. These two desktop environment we use in Linux and if you want to install Linux or 7 in your computer by command prompt whether using graphical mode you will get by default genome environment in Linux. Let's understand the difference between genome and KDE. In genome you will get taskbar on top. If you compare windows then you will get taskbar at the bottom. Let me show you in windows. So now it is my windows and you can see we have the taskbar in windows at the bottom. In windows we have only single desktop environment and that is KDE. If you click on the right corner top then you will see some options like wired connection, your battery information and user through which we are currently logged in. From here you can configure your network. Right now it is not connected. If you want to connect then hit on connect. Second option is related to your battery percentage. From here you can manage your power settings. And third option is related to user. If you click here, then you will get another option like logout, account settings, and then you have power button. If you press power button, then you will get three options and that is cancel, restart, and power off. I'm not gonna restart Linux because it will take one minute. Then you have the lock button. You can lock your Linux by pressing this. Next option is settings. Once you press settings, you will get couple of options like you can manage Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, your background wallpapers like I'm gonna change my wallpaper right now and then you can change your language settings from here. You can manage your online accounts or add them like Google, Nextcloud, Microsoft, etc. Then you have date and time wizard through which you can change date and time. If you click on root user again, then you get account setting option. From here, you can create or modify any user. Let me show you how. Once you press settings button, you will have user screen. And this is the same user that we have created during the installation time. Suppose we want to add a new user in Linux. On the right corner top, click on add user. And you will get options like we get in Windows. Would you like to create? A standard user or administrator that is your choice then on the left corner you have application tab this is a start menu of Linux from here you can select or open any application likewise in Windows Internet Explorer is a default browser same way Mozilla Firefox is a default browser of Linux next to application tab there is another tab by the name places it is much similar to windows file explorer once you click here then you can access home documents downloads music videos and my computers also likewise in windows we use file explorer to access documents and other information of current logged in user same way in linux we use home to access documents and other information of current logged in user then comes trash and i think i don't need to tell you what is trash in windows whatever we delete it goes in recycle bin same way in linux whatever we delete it goes in trash now here comes very important part of linux as i told you in windows we can log in one user at a time if you want to log in with different user in windows then we have to switch user or log off the user but in linux we can log in six users at a time let me show you how down below you have some commands by this you can easily log in six users at a time so first user always will be logged in graphically if you want to log in second user then we need to use ctrl alt f2 for third user ctrl alt f3 
fourth user control alt f4 fifth user control alt f5 and sixth user control alt f6 if you want to go back in graphical mode then press alt f1 or press control alt f1 that is function 1 so this was the basic configuration of linux in next video we will discuss how to access terminals to log in with six users at the same time or we can say multiple users at the same time question time guys now tell me when we install linux 7.6 then what is the default desktop environment we get and your options are option a kde option b gnome option c both you can type your answers in next 10 seconds below the comment section so that's all from my side if you like my videos then hit like make comments share my videos on whatsapp and facebook so that we can spread the knowledge and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates thank you